Middleton and Prince William are arriving at Balmoral today to stay with the Queen but Prince Harry and Meghan will not joining them. A royal source said that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will wait until next month before making the trip to Scotland. A royal source told Fabulous Digital, Harry and Meghan won't be going up at the same time as William and the cousins. They plan to go next month. Instead of being in the Scottish retreat with his brother and his family, Prince Harry has work commitments. The Duke of Sussex is scheduled to attend the Rugby League Challenge Cup final at Wembley Stadium on Saturday. Prince Harry has been a patron of the Rugby Football League since December 2016 and will present the Challenge Cup to the winners. Writing for the Daily Mail, Royal expert Robert Jobson claims Kate and William want to avoid Prince Harry at Balmoral after he said in Wants Two Kids, Maximum to Save the Planet. He wrote, the Duke of Sussex's latest woke outburst, in which he declared that he and Meghan plan to have only two children maximum in a bid to save the planet, may well have irked the Cambridges, who already have three. The royal commentator also highlighted how Meghan may have rubbed her sister-in-law up the wrong way when she said she didn't want to appear boastful by appearing on the front cover of her Vogue September issue. Today, pictures emerged of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their three kids, Prince George, 6, Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, 1, boarding a budget pound 73A head fly flight. The royal family traveled with the budget airline from Norwich International Airport to Aberdeen Airport this morning at around 8.50 am. The trip comes days after Harry and Meghan took four gas-guzzling private jets in 11 days. The total cost for the Cambridge family would have set them back £365, while Harry and Meghan's private Cessna jet, paid for by Sir Elton John, costs around £20,000 to hire. The young royals were also filmed carrying their own backpacks as they made their way to Black Range Rovers waiting to whisk them to Balmoral to see the Queen and Prince Philip. Stunned passengers also watched as Kate followed carrying one-year-old Louis, who appeared to be looking around the runway. She was flanked by Nanny Maria Borrello, who also traveled on the 40-seat passenger plane with the family. The royal source added, William and Kate usually take the children up to Balmoral over the bank holiday weekend and this year is no exception. Often they combine the visit with Will's cousins Peter Phillips and his family, and Zara and her family. All the kids get on really well and they have a riot together. The source added, the Queen loves spending time with all her great-grandchildren and they all call her Gan Gan. This was William and Peter's name for their great-grandmother the Queen Mother, and so they encouraged their children to give the Queen that affectionate nickname. Her Majesty always leaves gifts in the children's bedrooms when they go to stay, so of course they always look forward to going. It comes as Meghan and Prince Harry have come under fire for taking four private jets in 11 days while flying to Ibiza for Meghan's birthday and then to Elton John's £15 million home in Nice. The gas-guzzling trips have seen critics call the Sussexes hypocrites after Prince Harry recently talked about saving the planet and climate change at Google Camp. Elton revealed he paid for the private Cessna jets to and from his home, which would have cost around £12,000, for the couple's protection. However, it is estimated the journeys would have generated seven times the emissions per person when compared to a commercial flight. Stars such as Ellen DeGeneres, Pink, and Jamila Jamil have since come out defending the couple for being compassionate individuals, and called for bullying to stop. We shared how the Queen is astonished and very impressed by Hurricane Meghan Markle's work ethic, royal author claims. Following the sighting of the Cambridge family at Aberdeen Airport on Thursday morning, some fans may be wondering whether a reunion between the Cambridges and Sussexes is on the cards for the upcoming bank holiday weekend. But alas, Prince Harry and Meghan will not be joining the Queen, Prince Philip, Prince William, and Kate and the rest of the royal family in Scotland, because Harry already has a prior engagement in London. The new dad will attend the Rugby League Challenge Cup final at Wembley Stadium on Saturday. Harry, who is a big fan of rugby and has played since his school days, will be a guest of honor at the St. Helens and Warrington Wolves match. Earlier this month, Simon Johnson, the interim chair of the Rugby Football League, confirmed, 
the Rugby League Challenge Cup final is established as a special and historic day in the British sporting calendar. It was first contested in 1897, and first staged at Wembley Stadium in 1929, and we are delighted and honoured that the Duke of Sussex will be attending in his role as patron of the Rugby Football League. We hope His Royal Highness will enjoy seeing the two current best teams in front of a passionate and colourful crowd at Rugby League's showpiece event. Previously Vice Patron, Harry, 34, took over as patron of the Rugby Football League in December 2016, succeeding the Queen, who had been patron since 1952. While the Sussexes will remain in England, Prince William and Kate are expected to spend the whole bank holiday weekend with the Queen and Prince Philip at Balmoral. The couple were spotted touching down at Aberdeen Airport on Thursday with their three children Princes George and Louis and Princess Charlotte in tow. Royal Nanny Maria Turian Borrello was also pictured. The royals visit Scotland every year and take it in turns to stay with Her Majesty. So far this summer, Fans have caught a glimpse of Prince Andrew and Princess Beatrice, Prince Charles and Camilla, Prince Edward and Sophie and the couple's two children, Lady Louise Windsor and James, Viscount Severn, as they made their way to Sunday Church. Kate is likely to attend the traditional Sunday service this weekend with her grandmother-in-law, as she has done in previous years. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex won't be joining the Cambridge family in Balmoral this week despite expectations of a reunion. Prince William and his wife, Kate, and their three children Prince George, 6, Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, 15 months, have arrived in the Scottish Highlands where they were will enjoy some family time with the Queen. The Cambridge family were spotted arriving in Aberdeen Airport after flying commercial from Britain. Their tickets on board budget airline Flybe would have cost approximately $139.77 pounds per person. That's in stark contrast to the private jet used by Prince Harry and Meghan to travel to Nice, in the south of France. A similar plane costs around $35,000 to hire. Members of the royal family travel to the Scottish Highlands during the summer months to stay with Her Majesty in her sprawling estate. Prince William and Kate are likely to remain there for the long weekend and possibly another few days. Prince George and Princess Charlotte are due to return to school in early September. But Harry and Meghan won't be making the trip to Balmoral this weekend due to a prior engagement in London. The Duke will attend the Rugby League Challenge Cup final at Wembley Stadium on Saturday. Harry became patron of the Rugby Football League in December 2016, succeeding the Queen, who had been patron since 1952. The father of one, a longtime fan of rugby, will watch the match between St. Helens and the Warrington Wolves, but there's no word on whether Meghan will be by his side. Considering she made a surprise appearance at a baseball game to promote the Invitus Games Foundation, in June, it might happen. The Duke and Duchess will most likely travel to Balmoral by October to holiday with the Queen, before the monarch returns to London. It's tradition for Queen Elizabeth's family to spend time with her at the estate. Already, she has welcomed Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, and their daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, and the Earl and Countess of Wessex and their children Lady Louise and James, Viscount Severn. Prince Charles and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, are also staying on a property on the grounds of Balmoral.